This is Plastic Adventures. Hey everybody, it is Steve with the PATC and I am joined with Doug. And on today's episode of Plastic Bits, we're going to do some more sharing time. Um, I said love this to do once sharing a... time. What's that? So we love to do sharing time. Oh, we do when we got stuff. So for <laughs> me, it's like once in a blue moon. The the <laughs> the uh, heavens part and the toy gods smile upon me and I end up with all kinds of like crazy cool stuff. So um, I think this would be a really good use of our time. And I know that you found some pretty awesome stuff down in the Tri-Cities, uh, even yeah. a new secret shop to go to that I'm pretty excited to come down there and um, patronize. We'll yep. see what happens. Yeah, I got some so, stuff specifically from that shop. So I'll show you that. Yeah, yeah. Sounds awesome. Do you want to kick her off? Sure. Uh, why don't we start? A, go ahead and start with that. Great. So uh, the, the place that we found, I found in um, in Richland, Washington, is a place called Skies Finds. Uh, and it's just across the street from the Uptown Shopping Complex. Uh, that building that it's in has changed hands a few times and it's usually been a thrift store in the past and then it's been like a furniture store and then it's been another thrift store. And so it kind of bounces around to what it is. And, and this time around, it's now a, a pretty decent um, uh, secondhand store, which is filled with a lot of toys. I think that I went in there once when I was around the Tri-Cities last time and there was a few little sparks of some cool vintage stuff in there, but there just wasn't quite, you know, not quite the stuff that you have um, uh, been picking up and finding there. I mean, it was, I, I want to say it was like some Star Trek figures or something that they had in there, you know, like. Well, he must have just been Trek. starting out when you did uh -huh. because uh, he's pulled out a whole bunch of stuff now. I mean. Sounds like. Yeah. So he is, he's got some pretty cool stuff. I mean, he it's, it's a wide spectrum of things that he has. So. Um, but it's, some of it is like stuff that you're like, man, I'm not really into Funko Pops, but then other things it's like, well, oh, I can, I can buy some Marvel figures. Those look pretty cool. So, yeah. uh, yeah. and then he's got a case set up that he's like, you know, uh, you can't just go in and touch those ones, but if you want to buy them, those are his higher end toys. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it's a pretty cool deal. Um, and at that store, I found some of the toy biz, uh, DC and Marvel action figures that they had in the nineties. Right. Yeah, started off with the Batman uh, 89 movie line, branched into DC superheroes, and then Toy Biz picked up the license for Marvel. And they're yep. all these like gimmick based five inch figures, and some were incredibly cool. I, I actually, the more I'm looking at them, the more I'm, I'm digging them, right? Um, uh, they are a bit chunky compared to like some of the newer Mar uh, Marvel figures. Uh, they're limited articulation. They start off with a five point articulation, but then they have a knee bend, so they have a seven point. Um, some of them have some pretty interesting weapon, uh, slash accessories that go along with them. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, they're, they're actually pretty cool. And, uh, I'm glad I, I, I don't normally collect superhero ones. Uh, I got like a small box of superhero figures, but then when I saw these, there was something about them that was like, okay, that's my jam. I think I'll go ahead and buy those. Yeah. Also probably the price. Well, the price was a good thing too. So yeah. Yeah. yeah good deal. Yeah. Good deal. Right. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to show off is I, I put them in bags because I just wanted to keep their accessories together. Uh, but the toy biz penguin, I don't know if you can see him. Yeah. Yeah. So originally I think he was supposed to have this little tiny missile that went into the end of the umbrella and fired out. It. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. You do have that for some reason. I thought it was a deal where the, the gimmick just shot the whole top of the umbrella off. No. So you, you have the umbrella and you got his little umbrella stick that goes there, but then in the top, he's got the little missile that fires up. If I can get my hands on it. Yeah. So the missile goes in the umbrella. Oh, big missile. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it shoots out, you know? So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think originally that was going to start off as something really small and when you push it down, it like flushes up to the top of the umbrella and just looks like, you know, the, the center of the umbrella. But uh, I think that the the law back then was like you had to have the projectiles at two inches so that mm -hmm. kids wouldn't like, you know, battle Star Galactica themselves. Yeah, exactly. Um, whoever had these figures before him uh, kept them in really well, really, really good condition. I don't know if you can. Like, yeah, that, that out, penguin but... figure is always missing paint on the stomach for some reason. He's not missing any paint anywhere. He's he's right on. But then I looked at at what packaged ones cost, 
and they're like $22. I can go out and buy a packaged penguin, no problem. Like, that's that's not a big deal. Yeah, like, if you go into an antique store anywhere, you should be guaranteed to find a DC Heroes Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'd be, I'll, package, I would pick him up, in too. package. So yeah, I think I might I might try to find as many of these as I can uh, with Superman and Batman being the most expensive ones you can find, right? Um, uh, for the DC line, Spider Man seems to be the most expensive one that you can find for the, yeah. for the Marvel. What, what what's the Superman going for loose? Like twenty thirty bucks these days? Well, it depends on like if his symbol is clear, if he's got no paint rub, if he still has his cape, and if his cape still has the symbol on the back. So I mean, you can get him from with no cape from you know, eight bucks to, you know, perfect to just out of the package for like 45. So yeah, I, I bought one. Uh, I want to say I only paid like 10 or 12 bucks in good shape, but I bought a repro cape because uh, uh, same with, I have a superpowers Batman and I just was not going to, yeah, I ain't going out that well, kind of money. Well, so I got something to show you on that line, but well, before we get to sure. that one, yeah, yeah, um, let's let's see what else that you that yeah, you picked so, up there. Yeah, uh, so picked up for the Marvel line, I picked up a Daredevil, yeah, like pristine Daredevil. The the double D's on his chest are just freaking perfect. Double I love D's. perfect double D's. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> I set you up for that one. Uh, this one I actually like a lot more than I thought I would. This Punisher figure is really cool. Yeah, cap firing action. Absolutely, and he comes with like a crap ton of accessories. And uh, like I said, he's perfect. There's no paint wear or anything on him. He, he, this guy came right out of the package. Yeah, that was that was my first uh, Punisher figure. I had seen the '89 movie, uh, probably in about 1990. I didn't mm -hmm. know it existed for a while, and a kid brought it over on like bootleg vhs to watch for some reason like <laughs> it was recorded off, off of C cinemax, cinemax or something <laughs> uh but i fell in love with it and i'd already read the punisher comics so the only thing i regret about that figure is he's got one closed fist and then like one that holds one. so you can't do the double fisted yeah he could have yeah. dual wielded but they they had to kill the cap firing action a little bit later down the road and they put him in an ugly shiny vinyl trench coat with well, that's what I was like, all, all he's missing is the bandana and the trench coat, and he would be like square in the '90s Punisher, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's a it was a really neat figure. Um, yeah, I like him. I, I There's have, a couple different variations of him too from Toy Biz. So, yeah, I got I got both of the carded versions, the caps, and then the uh, full weapon arsenal with the trench coat. I don't know why I don't buy the talking one because I want it, but the it's only like what twenty bucks, like. twenty bucks on card, you know, and I I just <laughs> I keep not buying it i don't know why but sorry uh, what, what else you got there dude so this one captain america yeah 15, got his shield and the shield launcher was with him so yeah I, i'm liking these characters and these particular figures more than i thought i would um uh, okay so in that one uh there was actually a pristine secret wars 1984 oh, no paint rub no nothing on this guy no, it's he's like, perfect yeah when, and so when i looked him up and he's worth way more than I paid for him. What are those uh, 50, 60 bucks now? Yeah, if in they're good in good condition. But yeah. then, so this is this is what's going to get you. And, the, and, and these are yours, by the way. Um, so uh, I came with a heavily, heavily customed Wolverine, right? He was still the Secret Wars Wolverine, but completely painted over to be the yellow and blue instead of the off yellow and, and dark, like burnt, like burnt orange or whatever he is. But... He did have both of his claws. Yes. Yep. And sir, I looked these up. $39 a piece. <laughs> they are yes. not cheap. Compared to what I bought them for. Holy crap. But they are both, those are yours. Those are going right to well, your collection. Don't worry, my friend. I, I have found things for you. No, so, no, uh, no. I, I don't mind at all. I'm just like, uh, I for what I bought it for, I'm like, it's just crazy when I look something up and go, are you kidding me? Like, I have no idea what things really go for until after I get them and, and look them up and go, what? <laughs> I, I saw that Wolverine and I'm like, oh no. When I saw the paint all over it, I recognized <laughs> the figure right away. And I'm like, oh, dim claws though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't bother me one way or another. So the claws are all yours. 100%. Thank you. That's, that's very much appreciated. I have a really nice secret wars wolverine i'm looking at right now that just needed those claws so thank you i appreciate it yep all yours okay keep going i'll try to do this quick so we can get to yours uh thank you for 
uh, getting this mailed to your old house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, funny how that works, isn't Look it? That. Yeah. So, That's one of them that I've got to show today too. So uh, he's, is yours he's, in pretty good shape? He's in he's in perfect condition. The only thing he didn't have was stickers. But I did add. I don't know if you see this. I wanted him, so I had I had some extra stickers from another um, transformer. So got I put it. Some, I gave I gave him a belt, and then I gave him an Autobot symbol because I was like, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. Oh, my light's too bright. There we go. No, actually, I can see it really well there, man. Um, so the, the the quick story on that was I I lowballed a guy on eBay with a with a best offer, mm -hmm. and uh, it went like twenty three hours and fifty eight minutes, and I'm like, shit, I'm not getting this thing. <laughs> um, and then I one popped up on the marketplace like for twenty bucks, so I bought yeah. it really quick, and sure enough, the guy accepted my offer on eBay, so. <laughs> I got two Wolverines. I, I know that you guys out there paranoia by it like that too. I'm not the only one <laughs> that they're thinking, well, well, what if I don't get it? I need a backup plan. What if I don't get it? I need it. I need it. And then you get both. Yep. So there it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. I went over to, to your old house and, and she was like, uh, oh, uh, I was just going to take it back to the post office. And I'm like, no, trust me. Uh, the guy that used to live here is my best friend. I, I, he's expecting this. <laughs> I messaged your husband. Okay. I think I got all the accounts squared though. Now uh, right. they're going to get sick and tired of me saying, "Can you give my toys to my toy friend down the road?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, so one of the other ones I got. Um, I mean, the last couple of weeks have been really busy, so I've been picking things up as I go. Uh -huh. um, Braun came oh, in. Oh yes, man! What a good figure that is. Yeah, I'm 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 actually really pleased with how he looks and how he transforms. Only problem is this guy came in package with a cracked. Egg. Oh no. Yeah. So I'm being I'm very careful with him, but I mean he looks great next standing next to all my other Autobots, right? So. Yeah, it's just that scale. I can't. I. I. I it's hard too hard for me. But I understand. That's actually. Dude, that is one of the absolute best figures they've made. I love that Braun. Yeah, I, I, he's yes. he's great. He's, he's got that really cool cartoon classic yeah. head sculpt and just that weird funky thing that goes on behind his head because they just couldn't transform him out of the way. But uh, it's it's on there in the cartoons. Uh yeah, it's a yeah. terrific figure. Um, and they didn't make him the the F and dead version that that that, that they did oh. when they're giving us um uh, uh um prowl and like uh, iron iron hide in that two pack god yeah i mean the people didn't get a chance and the to only, get them and i i want the prowl and iron hide two pack but i don't want iron hide i just want the prowl because i didn't get him before in that mold even if he's got a little bit of a chest thing i'm like i just want that prowl but i i can't do it for both like i've already got iron hide i've already got that that one from the 86 studio series i can't i don't want to buy him again yeah so that's going to be like 50 60 bucks to get one yeah. figure that you want yeah instead yep. i'd rather spend that money on on somebody like oh yeah yeah they, those are hitting back out on the shelves yeah uh so this one was uh from comic-con um my friend from comic-con uh we we uh he virtually walked me around the vendor floor and he thought this one was pretty impressive so he uh he got me Blitzwing. That's awesome. And then he got me this one was really cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh reissue from Toys R Us. Yeah. Yep. That's uh yeah. I I couldn't buy those because of the boxes. But like if you ever wanted to feel the toys again, I mean it was aside from like some changes for safety, like the size of the missiles, they were really, really, really uh, good This toys. one, um, so the the reissue after this one, they changed the missile size. This one is the same size as the original. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Before I show you the really, really big one, uh, I'll get into some of these other ones. So I got I got my eels that have yeah, yeah. from Amazon. He's a great figure. Uh, I noticed though that he has a lot of the same body parts that are on Torpedo. So like his legs, um, his chest, uh, even some of his gear, like his flippers, his gun, his his uh, scuba gear and all that. It's the same as torpedoes, um, which kind of makes sense a little bit. It does. It yeah. does kind of make sense. 
not not really a new figure mold except for his head and some of the the coloring and design on that great looking uh, colors did, though i did finally pick up one of these guys oh finally finally so I, you just and, got and worn out and guy. got it mainly for him <laughs> i mean splitter's cool but i really wanted this this version of the shredder well even those are starting to disappear now yeah. Um, every so often I see one or two of them are the April and KC farmhouse two pack. Um, I was in way, 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 uh, South Whidbey Island today. And we stopped at the Walmart in Oak Harbor and I saw Michelangelo and Raphael two packs there. Oh yeah. From, from original Ninja Turtles. But, um, I mean, time's gone. If you can still grab them, good for you. Yep. Um, I saw them. They still had the two pack of the foot clan soldiers, but I, I didn't want to spring for two of those cause they were still you know, lots of money. Was that um, one on clearance or did you have to pay full price? I had to pay full price for that one. Yeah, it's okay though. But it's it was the right. only one I found after that. So it was like, uh, no, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Good figures. Yep. 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 Uh, but one of the, the last thing I got to show off is it's probably the thing I'm most excited about is, um, and we're probably gonna have to go to our, our next segment for yours. Sorry. I had, I had more stuff than I thought about, but that's okay. That's it's all right. Cool. All right. Uh, so have you seen these before? Oh, oh, yes. Okay. So, um, so this guy is, is legitimately Megatron, cool. And then you had, uh, which was a Walther P38, and then you had Browning. Yep. Um, yes. Okay. I'm familiar with it. I actually thought that uh, Browning was pretty awesome back in the day, that figure. He he kind of looked more Megatron-y than Megatron did. Seriously. But I, I like the design of this character. And so this, I mean... It is obviously a, repro a reproduction. It's hard to find a Browning in this condition, brand new, still in, in the original box, right? Is but, this a direct reissue or is this like a third party? No, this figure? is a, it's, it's a reissue. It's not really a reproduction. It's a, it's a reissue. Uh, but yeah, dude, he looks awesome. He looks better than he looks more like Megatron from the cartoon than Megatron did. Yeah, and you know me and and Vac Metal, dude. Like I'm just like yeah. a sucker for Vac Metal. <laughs> But this was this was great. Um, I had the opportunity to grab him, uh, and I didn't want to pass it up. I really didn't because I know I was like, I had the opportunity now, and if I don't take it now, um, I'm never, I'm not going to do it again, right? Just not going right. to do it. And that's how toy collecting is. It's like you got to take the shot when you see it, or who knows if or when it will ever come back up again, right? Yeah, I I paranoia buy a lot. So. Uh, but that one, I mean, Brad Browning, he, he transforms perfectly. All of his, his limbs are tight. He's brand new. There's no nothing. He's got a, both of his weapons. And apparently he shoots uh, plastic bullets that came with plastic bullets, too. So cool. There, there you go, kids. Don't choke on that. <laughs> I can't even imagine. That's like those anti-marijuana commercials from the 80s. <laughs> I'm so stoned. You know? What, what, what are kids I'm going to shoot myself with a plastic bullet. Click. Ah. Uh, uh, like, like, what? You might as well be shooting yourself in the eye with those fake plastic bullets. Uh, I, I mean, come on. Apparently, now. it 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 did hurt some kids in the past. I mean, uh, like you said, the Battlestar Galactica, apparently the kid was dumb enough shoot to shove it down his throat and pull, the and pull the trigger. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't yeah. know if I can if I can legally call that natural selection without getting on somebody's hit list for a, <laughs> a lawsuit, but yeah, call uh, whatever. What it is. Yeah. Uh yeah. No, that that's what I've got. And so um because we <laughs> we ran the first segment long, we'll we'll run a commercial and then we'll go uh we'll go into yours. How about that? Sounds great. <laughs> 